cavitation and ventilation on AC75 uh, foils. Uh, so there's, uh, for the foiling world, uh, there's always these two kinds of problems. Uh, one is ventilation, the other is uh, cavitation. Uh, they are uh, sometimes considered uh, quite similar uh, or the same thing one to the, to the other. Uh, in effect, they are uh, completely two different things. Um, on AC75, we probably uh, will see both uh, the possibility of having uh, foils cavitating and uh, the possibility of having them uh, ventilating. Uh, ventilation is uh, where, uh, when you have the foil close enough to the surface of the water, so uh, that there can be a path for the, for the air uh, to come in and uh, uh, reach the low, low pressure zone uh, on, the, uh, on the upper side of the foil. Uh, so, like a straw, no? uh, okay. like a straw uh, the foil will start to uh, pull some, some air uh, into the flow. So, uh, you, you see probably in the images, uh, probably, <laughs> probably. Um, and the, so the air starts to, to come, in, come in the flow and uh, ruin substantially the flow, flow. or better, um, will surely add drag and uh, lower lift uh, because the foil is, uh, so the path the, the water have, has to um, to go on, to go through, uh, is different, so it's no more a uh, well-shaped uh, uh, airfoil, but uh, uh, so as, as the air is part of the foil. I don't know how to say it properly. But then also the direction you are trying, uh, the direction and uh, the, let's say the lift, uh, it is providing that they are changing or not? Uh, the direction you are trying to, to give, for example, to on the radar, for example. No? Exactly. Uh, probably you, you cannot be as accurate as before, uh, exactly, as before exactly. ventilation, no? so you, you start uh, probably not uh, feeling the not radar. Feeling. No? Exactly, the typical, uh, typical problem uh, is for the radar, uh, which is uh, mostly on uh, moth, for example, so um, boats that have uh, the foil and the radar uh, in line one to the other, so the flow, the flow of the foil is substantially um, uh, close to the foil of the radar, so if they are close to the surface, uh, it's, it's possible that in the, in the, um, in the wake of the foil uh, there's some bubbles included mm -hmm. and uh, um, when the flow arrives to the radar, includes this bubble and creates a path for this uh, air to, to be sucked uh, in the flow. And so you don't no more feel the radar because obviously all the flow around the, the rudder is air, so it's like uh, you are moving the, the rudder uh, inside a bubble of air, which is uh, providing the, the, the shape around uh, which the, 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 the flow is, is going. So uh, it is, uh, as always, the, 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 let's say, uh, the cure of this, yeah. uh, of this is, uh, let's say, stopping the path of the air no? in some exactly. way. So, I mean, with a, with a sudden maneuver. Exactly. You, you, can, uh, you can stop the air from uh, being sucked uh, in the, exactly. in the, around the profile. No? Exactly. So, so. The, the best thing is obviously to lower the, the, the surface of the foil exactly. uh, or to, to, exactly, or to um, decrease uh, the dynamic load on the, on the foil so that uh, the, the air has no more uh, tendency, so, to be sucked, tendency to be sucked so, from the, from uh, above. so well. Exactly. Then uh, there is the cavitation is uh, slightly different, no? Exactly. Cavitation is, is different. Uh, is different. Uh, ventilation obviously is um, uh, is occurring where when the foil is close to the surface of the exactly. of the liquid. So well, cavitation, cavitation, cavitation can be even can, uh, can happen, 20, uh, on 20 meters below yeah, the on submarines, the for example, on submarines which are uh, deep uh, deep into the sea. Uh, they can have cavitation. In fact, for example, for submarines, it's, it's a big problem because cavitation is it's a loud sound. So uh, a submarine can be reached by by the sonar of the others, uh, and so it can be listened and can be uh, pointed at. <laughs> so, something quite old. I mean, I'm not yeah. sure now. But now yeah, they uh, try. <laughs> they're using these systems. But anyway. Uh, 
uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, cavitation can occur at any um, distance from any the distance from, from the from the surface, and yes. it's just uh, the uh, water boiling. Okay, so we are uh, used to water boiling at 100 degrees uh, Celsius, mm -hmm. which I don't know how many degrees Fahrenheit are because Fahrenheit mm -hmm. it's not a proper. <laughs> Okay. Unit of measure. Um, so, 100 degrees Celsius, uh, the the water boils, but this is at uh, uh, normal pressure, so uh, at uh, sea level pressure, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, you have um, a lower pressure, the the water will boil uh, before uh, substantially. So, if you can have uh, a vacuum vacuum chamber and you put some water in it. Uh, when you are trying to pull out uh, air and so lower the pressure, at, at some moment you will see the, the water boiling at room temperature. Uh, this is exactly the thing which is happening on the foil. So the foil is obviously uh, on the upper side has a, a, a zone, of, uh, zone of lower pressure, which is the one providing the lift. Uh, if this lower pressure reaches uh, the the point where the water starts to boil at the temperature you are you are dealing with normal room temperature uh, the water will boil in fact uh, will boil and then uh, probably uh, will uh, uh, rebecome liquid uh, reaching the zone just after where the pressure is uh, again increased um, this is uh, really bad uh, mostly for a uh, also for the for the structure, uh, because the the cavitation bubbles which are creating are in fact uh, like exploding, uh, touching the the foil. Uh, so also from the structural structural point of view, uh, it's really really dangerous, and uh, this can ruin the foils. Uh, and as as for the ventilation, you will create a bubble of air substantially on the foil which is uh, obviously uh, avoiding uh, the, the good performances of the foil. In fact, uh, cavitation is what uh, prevents uh, uh, foiling boats to go, let's say, over 50 knots. Exactly. So, so we, uh, in the end, uh, we will see uh, probably speeds uh, around 40 knots, probably exactly. not, not 50. Probably we, they don't have uh, uh, some problems of... Uh, uh, switching to the no. super cavitating foils, probably exactly. But this is something we we will see. But anyway, anyway, it is uh, it is a problem when you have uh, uh, let's say a small uh, a small foil exactly. and a uh, decent angle of attack, then you risk uh, cavitation. So you risk uh, to drop down uh, from the foils quite exactly uh, quite suddenly. No? Quite, quite suddenly, exactly. So uh, obviously the um, the more dynamic load you have on the foils, so uh, if you are, if you, for example, are doing the foils uh, smaller, uh, we okay. we commented the Ineos has uh, bigger foils, uh, like uh, for example Emirates in New Zealand. They will of uh, of course have uh, the cavitation occur later because the dynamic load, so the uh, the pressure um, on the foils, uh, uh, as the yes. as the the load will be more or less the same, uh, the pressure will be uh, more distributed, so uh, will be lower or better, <laughs> higher, uh, the low pressure will be higher. On small foils, uh, the, the teams will have uh, lower pressures, so uh, the, they can have a foil cavitating uh, uh, before. There's obviously the possibility of having uh, uh, super cavitating foils, which are foils designed to, uh, in fact, have uh, all the foil uh, covered in cavitation and have the cavitation bubble explode after the the the, the flow has surface. passed the, 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 the surface of the foil and uh, uh, and they are in fact uh, real good foils and uh, they uh, exploit let's say the the cavitation uh, to lower the surface uh, surface drag between the foil itself and the water. So it's like the foil is was going on the air, uh, mm -hmm. and not like uh, the foil was going in the in the water. So uh, this is better, obviously, but they cannot use because they 
will have a lot of trouble uh, using them in sub-cavitating uh, uh, They're not that efficient at all, at exactly. all because uh, the shape is completely different. So it's not, uh, it's not that easy to switch from one to the other. Not at all. So yeah. I mean, uh, what happens is that the, the, cavi the cavitation is something you can predict, no? Uh, yes. It's uh, easier to, pr to predict. Uh, the ventilation, obviously, changes uh, quite a bit uh, if you are... Uh, the more you are closer to the sea surface, uh, the more you, you risk uh, to ventilate. So, exactly. so it is a little bit uh, more difficult to, to predict uh, and uh, so this is also something that the crews have to, have to, to deal with now. Exactly. So they will be, they will, um, depending on the condition of the sea and something, they, they need uh, to figure out exactly what is the the safe the safe height uh, exactly. uh, of flight no of course uh, they will need to have the the foil lower in the sea than they would like to for sure so they will have to to fly lower than they will to um, because uh, just uh, with a small wave uh, exactly. you create a path and then when the path is created uh, it's really difficult the, to, to to stop to this stop path it. so exactly. probably it, it mm, uh, it's just needed a small wave uh, which exactly. lowers the surface and creates path and then exactly. the, the foil will ventilate, uh, will ventilate. Uh, throughout also the next wave. Exactly. So we, we will see how, how so. they will manage and how, how much they will push this, uh, this to the limit. So uh, this is one of the, for example, one of the uh, possible uh, things that happens and then that makes the... <laughs> that, uh, that will, will favor in the end uh, Luna Rossa in theory. Yeah. Luna Rossa and uh, Team New Zealand uh, against, uh, against the Americans uh, and uh, Ineos. Exactly. Which are not supposed to go up and down that easy. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> ciao. Thank ciao, you. ciao. Bye.